There's a frozen child in here. Ugh. Aren't you scraping the windows? Rescue, she's rescued many things on the beach. Let's just watch this hard one. Enjoying the electric blanket. I'm not gonna play. Yeah, you don't care about There's plenty of room for you to sleep back there. Maybe I can beat off to this. I am uh, I am in complete like you know mark for 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 Bon Scott era. One of the big the big deal for me when Axel joined uh, ACDC for that one tour was I finally got to hear Bon So I got in a decent workout, arms and chest. I'd probably still be working out, but Here's the thing, man, people piss me off. Big signs everywhere that says, you know, give it a little squirt before and after. It's not that hard. Even when I ran out of paper towel. You just walk 15 feet to the other station and grab some. And this douchebag, just sweating all over everything, moving machine to machine, not wiping anything down, even before a pandemic. You just do that. And I'm no physical specimen, but it's obvious this dude's never been in a gym either, so. Ah, so I'm gonna relax. Instead of take the dude's head off, which I really wanna do. I just really gotta stop letting people get to me. Uh, just hate it, I hate people, I hate disrespectful people. Just wipe the shit down. Don't smoke. I know. Brandon's perfect world, right? Well, it sounds like a perfect world all over the place. <sighs> Anyways, I got a pretty good workout on. Just got my boobies worked out, got the, the major guns worked out. My breath is terrible right now. Hmm. Come on, brother. It's literally one degree out. One degree. That must be made of bare fur and iron. Okay, I've never done this before in my entire life. Isn't that weird? You gonna help me? It's only freezing outside. Uh, how do you do this? I get all the Vegas off of there. Get all the Phoenix and San Diego off of there too. There's so much of it. good with the foam brush let me tell you that I've seen a lot of kids try the foam brush none of them are as good as you are I mean just the best <laughs> it's goopy you get a lot of foam for that three dollars I spent foam brush foam brush I ain't doing the rest of that stuff. I don't need to do conditioners and waxes and spot freeze and all that. Yeah, I can. What car? I don't want to do that. You want to do that? No. <laughs> you go out there and do it. I'm freezing my nuts off. Okay. Uh, all right, back at the Kilroy's filming a event they have coming here for their show. Always a good excuse to uh, stop and see the gang. people here today, including the boy. There he is. Loves waiting. watch this all day. They're really good. 
There's so many hot things here today. Yeah, you know where I'm going with this. You know where I'm going with this. I just grabbed it right out of the thing and went over to the grinder and cleaned it up and cut it up and I was burning my hands through the gloves. Uh, there you go, man. Alright, that's what this whole thing's about right there. Oh yeah, macadamia and chocolate. Are you kidding me? That's the best in the world right there. Knives and cookies. Swords and cookies. What about the nachos? And nachos! Alright. Sorry, man. Sorry. Nachos, Maybe we can make cookie nachos and cut them with cookie swords. Cookie nachos with sword cutting uh, really soon. So blacksmiths tend to be very literal. But that's a nice job, man. Keeping that actually straight down on the bottom while you're curving the top here. And there's a nice consistent oh, thickness. That's a really good job. Yeah. Good work. What's your plan for the handle? All right, I got a new toy. That's right. <laughs> oh yeah and I just used it and I tell you what you only need the first setting <laughs> it is brutal it's if I can't even imagine going higher than that oh man it's uh, definitely uh, I definitely recommend good stuff Taco Bell, Taco Bell, product placement with Taco Bell, Enchilito Nacho Burrito. Hi Marcy. So with that little bit of Taco Bell, it's time to try out the bidet again. Okay, 7 a.m. I'm going to finish out this Kilroy's episode today. The kids in somewhat zombie mode at the moment. Cat. Non-stop meowing mode. It's kind of weird. Every time I hit record, she stops meowing. Oh, oh, there she is. You done? Mm, didn't think so. So yeah, this is just a collection of days at this point. There's no story thread through this episode. There's nothing. I'm just taking random glances. Yeah. That's what I deal with. started Kilroy's you know a little backstory all right we found the guy I was at the wrong entrance quick little shoot kind of want to explore this airport There's all kinds of cute little stuff everywhere like this kitty's cute little stuff when he's awake ITV life, it's the Kilroy's workshop life, and this will be far from the last time we are showing this place. Everybody, this is really important what I'm about to say and I want you to listen closely when I die I want to be cremated understand now what does that have to do with this place well when you're cremated your body turns to carbon and carbon as well as I you know iron or whatever uh, can be turned into steel and then steel can be turned into an axe or a knife or whatever this is. What I'm saying is 
when I die, which is gonna happen within the next 30, 35 years, and that's fine. Looking forward to it, kind of. You know, in 35 years. Give me 80 years and I'm happy. Give me uh, 20 less than Betty White and I'm good. But I want to be melted down, put into steel, and turned into a kick-ass sword or a battle axe or something I can give my son or maybe a couple of them. I don't know how many kids I'll have at that point. I mean, I, I mean, like, I don't know if my kids will have kids at that point. I'm done having kids. But yeah. I want to be uh, I want to be a weapon of mass destruction and I want him to do it here at Kilroy's or something like I said I don't know how long I've got left could be on the way home today hopefully not or could be in another 35 40 years who knows plenty of time but I that's what I want okay are you listening to me that's what I want that's my last wish if you're gonna have a ceremony or something Put a blade up there, and there's Brandon, and everybody gets a turn waving it around and cutting watermelons in half or something. Look, I know how to party, okay? I'm serious about this. I didn't even know you could do that. Kilroy's needs to do that. It needs to be a service that Kilroy provides. They can make untold fortunes doing this. Yeah, man. I'm actually excited about that. I mean, I won't be around to see it, but... You should be excited about that if you're going to be around. Let me see your blade. Present your blade. Present your blade. I can't see any water bottle. I'm going to stay with somebody ahead drinking water. Show me the blade. You just like spinning it around your finger. Is that why you got it? <laughs> Never shower before you go to sleep. Today I'm uh, going back to the judicial system up in Denver. I don't have a court case, but I am going to finally, I got the clearance. What is on my, new cat hair, what do you know? Uh, I got the clearance to go pick up my gun. So <laughs> I will be uh, heavily armed again. So don't mess with me! Good morning, baby doll. You've been doing good man stuff down here. All right. All right, now don't fall off. Back in October. Yeah, man, landed on top of his head. Uh, what? So, I mean, he, there's no doubt anybody associated with him is going to have instant. Don't know where to go. Oh, that's not it. Oh, property release. All right. Hey, how you doing? I'm out here, uh, I have to pick up some property, I have an appointment. So in case you're just joining this show, I'm, uh, an idiot. I accidentally brought a loaded handgun into an airport. Keyword, accidentally. But, um, I did. <laughs> it's my fault. I, uh, did all the community service that you can watch on this show. I did gun safety class, I paid a bunch of money, and now I get my my gun back so that is what I'm doing here it'll go right back into the closet where it was for like 15 years there's a 
British style pub over there. I went with an ex-girlfriend years ago and it was really good. Ah, I kind of want to go back. Maybe we'll film there for Go There, Eat That. Inside this box is, uh, it's not loaded anymore, but I have plenty of bullets. <laughs> plenty of bullets. And each one of them has a name on it. Yeah. No, it doesn't, not at all. This is gonna go, like I said, right back into the closet. I probably won't even take it out of this box. And uh, wow, just uh, this just journey <laughs> from screwing up to uh, doing my time, so to speak, to uh, actually getting the gun back. I never thought I'd get this back. This has been a, a roller coaster ride. I, I hated every second of it. I, I didn't mind doing the uh, community service with Habitat for Humanity Restore. I actually had a really good time doing that. Um, the gun class was boring, but it's whatever. Three hours of my life, and I'm not going anywhere that I'm supposed to go. Now, your goal is to not end up in that building. That's where, uh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't end up in that building. Evidence. I feel kind of weird walking around with a box that says evidence on it. Always take the stairs if you can take the stairs. I don't remember where I parked at all. I always want to stop in Denver and walk around, but parking in Denver is the stupidest thing in the world. You cannot park in Denver. I don't know how these people live here. Do they have garages or something? Because there's no parking anywhere. Anywhere. It just makes no sense. Howard. Okay. I have a ramen t in a tap room. That's interesting. I hate how good that looks. Hate it. Parents are living in squalor. I look like a shithead. in a moldy basement. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You know, honestly, I... Gas is actually 309. Nice. You see the dumbasses took off the Biden stickers. Listen, people, just a quick little lesson in economics. The president of the United States, whether it was dipshit Trump or Biden or whoever came before them, has nothing to do, nothing to do with gas prices. Why? It just makes no sense. It's supply and demand, people. If you don't understand the logic of supply and demand, I'm not going to explain it to you. Look it up. Do a little homework. Don't don't believe memes and st just stupid. Oh, I'm at $57. Really? That's $58 at 309. This, this is a gas hog. But anyways, get your head out of your ass. It's not about that. I'm not a Biden guy. I certainly am not a Trump guy. But blaming a president for gas prices, it's like blaming Ronald McDonald for the price of a cheeseburger. You're stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Uh, it was a real surprise when on the birthday show Robin goes here. Never been to, I, I've been here once and it was like 12 years ago. Rudy's Barbecue, I'm pretty sure they're a national chain. But last night I was so hungry for barbecue and I don't know why. And there's really not that much good barbecue in Colorado. At least not where I live. So turkey, ribs, chicken, pork loin, sausage, brisket, yep. This is happening. Sorry, diet. I'm one of those jackasses that likes to uh, try everything when I go to a place like that. I'm supposed to be watching my salt intake. This is not watching my salt intake. Mm. Mm. Okay, what do we got here? A little bit of brisket, huh? 
Also got some backup sauce, which is not healthy at all. Sugar, salt, carbs, goodness. Oh, this is pretty good. So hungry for barbecue yesterday. I just had to get some today. Good looking rib. Mm. <laughs> Very meaty, but doesn't exactly fall off the bone. Again, this is sauce. I need sauce for this. All right, am I right? Am I right? Yes, I am right. Love me some smoked turkey. Oh yeah, that is good. I got about five meals worth of food. It's all low carb stuff, so maybe not that sauce, but Mm-hmm. A bag of peppers and condiments and stuff. Yeah. Well, that's my dinner for the night. Things that has really messed with my head here recently. We have five people trying to put together a Lego set. Not busy, but... So I messed up a little bit. I thought it was like $58. That's what it says right here. But that was for my old car. This is a re-up. Duh. I don't know how I didn't see that. I could have sworn I saw a Dodge Caravan on here and I was all happy. $58. Bucks. So instead it's a $170. Which is still less than I thought it was going to be. So it's whatever. Let's see what they gave me. I wanted to get a custom one, put a side TV on there or something, but AOM. AOM. It's better than BTK, which they gave me last time. I still got like almost a month to put these things on, so eh, at least it's knocked out. At least it's all taken care of. Oh, it smells like barbecue in here. That is wonderful. Mmm. <laughs> all right, a little bit of food shopping. Filled my water jugs, jugs, I like saying the word jug. Piece of string cheese. Now it's time to see what's in the evidence box. Just in case I need it tonight. Mm. Can't do this with one hand. All right, where's she at? There you are, you idiot. <laughs> Why did you hop into my backpack? Why did you hop into my backpack and get me in trouble? Oh, that was such a pain in the ass, the whole ordeal. Oh my goodness, just psh, psh, psh. Oh, it's zip tied, shush. So yeah, that's over with. I almost want to keep the evidence box, it's kind of cool. <laughs> Evidence. You could wrap somebody's like Christmas gift in this or something. Um, yeah. So this is a 38 caliber. I had no idea. Rossi, R E, whatever that means. 727 2001. That's when your friend was the stupidest person at any airport ever. Maybe not ever. It was an accident, so you know. Well, I don't know what else to tell you, man. It's only uh, 3 o'clock on this day. I know this is a collection of weird stuff throughout the days, I think. I'm not sure what's going to happen when I put this video together, but all I know is the kitty has lots of treats now. Lots of treats. Lots of treats. This one has catnip in it. Nice. Cheddar flavors and chicken. Mm, I might try one of those. Ugh, lots of treats. She's a spoiled cat, but she's a good cat when she lets me sleep. Ain't that right, kitty? Let's end off this video with some good old-fashioned cat time. Where you at? So say goodbye, Marcy. Good enough. <laughs>